Hi there and good morning and welcome to Art Through a Lens. Um, I've been a bit busy um, making my own um, watercolour collection textures uh, these past few days. I've been having so much fun creating them and making pastel colours and things like that. I'll just show you them now because this is what I'm going to do today. This image that you can see of uh, Lindisfarne Castle. That's... Um, the depth of field is where I've got it slightly blurred because that's not my main focus point, my boat is instead. Uh, but as you can tell, it's still Lindisfarne Castle on Holy Island. Now, I've been making um, my pastel collections and my watercolour collections, which are all here, and I'm offering them for sale as well, uh, which is um, £12 really for 20 of my textures to get creating with your images. So I'll just show you. I think I'm on it already now yes these are it so these are all my textures that I've made in the past two or three days I've already sold some as soon as I put them on Um, I think I put them on late evening I sold three collections Um, so that's fantastic because they are cheap because believe me I bought my own in the past well I bought somebody else's in the past when I first started and uh, I think I paid £25 uh, for 15 uh, but I desperately wanted them so uh, and at the time I didn't know how to create my own um, so uh, if you've got time and you're, you're very creative and you're good at putting colours together and everything like that you can easily create your own um, but um, I, I just could sit here all day doing that. So what I'm going to do today, I've not used any, uh, well, apart from one, my tree image that you may have seen. Um, I tried some of my watercolour textures out on that and I only needed two of my textures to make that image, believe it or not. Uh, and that's been really popular as well, uh, the four trees it's called. Uh, and all it was is like a blue and white texture um, I used over that just keeping it simple basically because all it was was trees so um you'll see me use these today i'm hopefully going to make an image out of this we will soon see uh like again i never know when i'm going to start or what i'm going to go with just something that takes my eye uh, and my focus point is the boat okay um I, st I don't know if I'll, it all depends on applying textures if that ends up still you know if the lindisfarne castle still ends up showing there um, or not it might end up completely covered we don't know or just like a fine mist look um over it as well so let's start let's start with this one just drag that over so uh, beautiful absolutely beautiful colors i loved making them and they're very subtle as well so if you're just wanting to add a little bit of color to your images without going too over the top it's really quite nice because they are like translucent, you know, depending on your blend mode as well that you use. It's the hardest thing again is like choosing it, isn't it? So I do like that one. Multiply. I love multiply and um, soft, softer look. So I'm just going to add a layer mask to that. So I just want to make my boat stand out. So I'm on opacity 33%. Flow 34, so it's not strong when I'm taking it off there. You hardly see it really. It's just I know that that boat is still as bright as I wanted it to be to stand out for my other textures going over it. And I might just do a little bit of the castle as well. Just making that come back out just a little bit. I'm liking the sky. And I'm liking the colour tone so far. Okay, so back to textures. And my lovely texture folder of my watercolours. So let's scroll down and see what else I've got there. Oh, let me have a look at this one, speckle. Do I need speckle? We'll soon see if I need speckle or not. Just drag it over and try that. Plus you're getting to see up close some of my textures that I've made and are for sale. So all you have to do is um, send me a message. They are digital, digitally downloaded for you. iRes images. Ooh, 
I love that darker color darker color remember darker color I love the darker color hmm. I don't know about you but um, if you're anything like me this is the hardest part isn't it <laughs> choosing which one you like on your image See, with that one, I'm thinking, keep the castle like it is. So it's there. You can see the, you know, um, the outline of the castle. And then just take it off the boat. Let's go with that. Let's have a play. There you go. Add a lay mask. Take it off the boat. And we're only doing it gently again with the opacity set the same also otherwise it's too harsh and plus it's still going to blend in as well I'm just bringing out some detail and bring out what you want okay so if you go over it, it doesn't matter so you can see the outline if you want to put something back in change that there on your panels to white and that will put the texture back in where you've just taken it off so where you may want it you can put that back in to soften the look like that there there you go just gently Just blend it in slightly, okay. Now I'm not sure, let's put the fill down on the texture. So I've clicked on the texture because I'm wanting to change that texture a little bit. And just reduce the fill. That's a bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that and then choose another texture and it's just having a having a play all the time let's go for this pastel green i don't even know what look i'm going for here i have no idea whatsoever i just want it to look painterly and my boat stand out a little bit but blending at the same time so it's all trial and error Oh, look at that. How beautiful is that? I love that pin light and I love the castle and I love the sky. But I know my boat's gone. I know what you're thinking. My boat's gone, but I'm not worrying about that at the moment because I can always untick the eye symbols on this so I have then I'll make a copy actually of the boat the main picture so I could unt untick all the eye symbols there so they're not in use and then cut the boat out and then apply that one afterwards but I'm just going to see first if I can just yeah toning that down is nice as well just put it slightly up because you can see the boat now Oh, I don't know. Um, this is the decisions you see that you have to make. Let's just try first. Just going over the boat. Make, make sure, because obviously I'm on white. I had it on white before to pull it back. I need to change that back to black to take the underlying texture away. Now I'm going to go a little bit softer with my opacity and flow because I, I don't want to take too much off. I want to paint it out without leaving a harsh line. 
you could easily do it quicker by cutting the boat out but I'm just seeing if this will give me the same so you can take longer obviously I'm on a video I don't want the video to be too long I also don't want this to be too um, normal looking as such like the actual photograph looked I do want it to blend in like a misty look as well so that's why I've got my opacity reduced as well as the flow okay just over there over there just over the features see because it's so low we don't actually leave harsh lines where we're actually taking it away I think I might have to do a little bit of that as well just the shadows underneath make it blend in a little bit that's sweeping I might just go back on is it that one and just take a little bit bit of the foreground away make the grass stand out a little bit just so it doesn't look like the boat is sitting on a cloud as such but you still got some texture there as well so just keep doing that until you're happy with it go on the other one if you need to and just do that as well just where you need it Okay, so that's looking really really nice now so it blends in it still looks misty and it's looking more like painting so click back on your top layer there and let's go on ahead and add um, another texture so we've got a misty look at the moment haven't we so let's see let's see what this one's gonna give us you can always right click on this and you can rotate it 180 degrees rotate it clockwise rotate it clockwise anti-clockwise flip so it's entirely up to you how you want your texture placed over your image before going through the blend modes oh you see i get so excited by some you see look at that beautiful that's beautiful that's beautiful scroll down because you never know if I just choose one I might miss the best one it's always worth going down them all they're just so oh, gorgeous aren't they it just gives a lovely soft effect these uh, watercolor textures absolutely loving them but I do like I like the multiple I love the darks I do love the darks but I also like that yeah, if I just take away the fill a little bit yes right and then add a new layer mask and then take away from the boat we only want to do this slightly because that is gorgeous even on the grass just make something still stand out so therapeutic can hardly see the difference but not before and after before and after if 
beautiful loving the color tone and then a bigger brush just to see if there's any grass that needs bringing out again just slightly just slightly so you're not going over this foreground area there and I don't know to just take some off the um, water just just lighten that texture up there slightly just blend it all in by sweeping motions so it's not a harsh pattern there back and forth just blending that in just like you would with paint that is absolutely beautiful even though I say so myself if something excites you you know it's right that is gorgeous isn't it I like that do like that now what I don't know if to try another texture um, let me think I think I may try just another texture got nothing to lose just trying another texture and I'm thinking of something darker. Oh, let's see what this does. My Indigo Crackle watercolour. Let's see what effect we get here. Might not work. I like the castle area. I do like the castle area and the runs at the top. Let's just see it without again. No, I don't think it needs that one. So drag it to the bin. So something's nice. I've got ideas for that one. Um, but go back on the textures. Is there anything else? This one. This is dark at the top and dark at the bottom. With the crackle glaze as well. That's just dark, dried um, mud. And I took a photograph of dried mud and then I turned it white in Photoshop um, by reducing the saturation and lifting the highlights. So it's easy to... Um, that's okay, isn't it? I like that. I love the crackle in the middle on the sea. Scroll down and see what else it gives us. Remember, you're not looking at the whole thing. If you like something on the water, if you like something on the boat, if you like something on the sea, you just take it away from anywhere else. You're not looking at the whole thing. You're looking at something that takes your eye. And that takes my eye because of the water. I like it being where the water is. But what I'm going to do is make a big brush and just blend that out a little bit because it's too harsh 
for my idea that I've got so you're just taking it away just on the edges really just softening those edges of the outline making your brush small increase your opacity just slightly 20s and 30s take away that crackle that's going over my boat so it separates them and there as well and there as well and just on the edges there to get every little bit and can zoom in to see if you've got everything there zoom back out make it even smaller just to see what it looks like as a, th a thumbnail I'm liking that. That's really, really nice. Let's see if we've got any on the boat that needs to just to come off a little bit. And on the grass again. So I like that. So what I'm going to do is my Control, Shift, Alt and E. And that's called stamp it uh, so you're stamping that all together so you're making a stamp really of all your collection of textures there now what i'm going to do is add a new layer so it's the checkerboard and what i'm thinking of doing is just get the dropper tool there try and click on a blade of grass to see what color comes up there if it's not the right color choose another one that's about right and then what we need to do is make your brush hard so you can do that on your pen tool or you can actually do it on your brush settings so your size you can get really small as well which i need so about i'd say four i'll try four pixels and that's your hardness and your softness so I want it really hard because I'm trying to look uh, like it's a stem of grass. So just zoom in. Scroll down. I want your opacity high and your flow high. And I just want to blend these in. Don't worry about anything because you can reduce that don't know if it's the right color but there's other colors to go on as well so always be going on your dropper tool changing your colors of your grass and it just blends it in i just want something some grass to actually be showing on the on the boat and some more flicks and some blending in you don't have to do this i just like to show that the edges of the boat are all blended in you see is that any different in color yeah so every time you go on the dropper tool just make it look natural really light lifting off at the ends And you're making it more texture in the grassy area where the sunlight captures here you're showing some grass you see that side has got the sun on so they're going to be lighter in color because the sun is capturing and we can have some long blades of grass 
go on to that colour and just keep going back and forth because obviously grass has all got different depths of colour okay so you don't need to um, keep them all the same colour so it would look so unnatural and you've got some here going that way just bringing some more natural movement and texture to the scene and don't worry if you've you've gone over the top don't worry about that you don't have to worry at all because I'll show you what to do in a second so some darker ones look how they stand out now in the bit there and then lighter ones it's all about creating depth little ones around there and big sweeps grass goes in all directions so you can't really go wrong zoom out see how you're getting on See how that makes it look lovely now, like it's been studying that grass for absolutely ages, years maybe. And it just brings that foreground interest and a little more detail to the scene. And it is fun. It is just playing about, changing colours of your grass um, and just keep creating that depth. Let's get some lighter colour there. Big ones as well going over. Just make it look like you are in a it has been there ages, so you just add into the scene. Okay. So I think we're done with the grass. Then we've got plenty of grass there and it just blends in absolutely lovely so if you didn't want some grass say for instance so you've, you've been just applying your brushes okay which it isn't a brush it's just the normal soft brush and I've made it hard and I've made the opacity high and the flow high just so I can do my blades of grass and your hour at four pixels as well for the size of the brush if you didn't want any there it's same with the textures you just add it uh, a new layer mask black because obviously that is white and you want to remove some okay so all you do is say you don't want that bit there you just move it don't want that there and you just go taking off where you think looks wrong or where it's not blending in what doesn't look real so take that off there the little curl off there and it's that's all you're doing you can just take it off wherever you've gone wrong don't keep doing it just get it all put on all your grass all your stems and um then all you have to do is remove anything that looks wrong afterwards that's all you have to do but i'm quite happy i think with everything there just a little bit there and you just take things off but all the rest I'm quite happy with it's, it's absolutely lovely so yes zoom out and that grass because you use different colors of grass just with brush strokes so you, your mid greens your light greens your, your yellows you know which looks like your dead grass um, it makes it look like the actual Sun is like reflecting on that now a little bit more as well uh, even though it's still an easy lovely photo lovely crackle glaze in the middle there so what I'm going to do is add as my birds because I always have to add my birds in so I'll find my birds which should be somewhere have I gone past them there you see when I close my folders of all my brushes I always forget where they are because I've got that many brushes I will find them for you in a minute. Uh, just 
distress ones. So I want black, so change that to black. Opacity is high enough because we can reduce that up here anyway. So we can actually blend it in better once the birds are in the sky. Because it's a very hazy day, so they are going to be quite faint because they're going to be far away as well. It must be my other one. Okay, so I'm going to place them there. I'm going to reduce the opacity. Just see what's right for you. Just keep having a look. I think about 45% is okay there. Let's reduce the picture. Yes, so I'm going to control alt shift and e again to merge those now what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to get rid of that and get rid of my brush bird brush i'm thinking of going on to filter other high pass in fact no First, go on to linear light so it looks horrible. Then now go on to filter, other, and eye pass. You always need to go on linear light. Well, I do anyway for mine. And increases this increases your um, the texture uh, and gives it some pop. Let's just see if I can show you that. So if you went really high, which you never do with high pass because it's really strong. So I just want the boat to stand out a little bit more with some detail and the grass. So 2.5, I know I don't like it here, but same again, even with high pass, you'd add another layer mask on black and then you just take it away from where you don't want and you see it soften straight away again because you don't want your crackle glaze being too harsh you don't want the castle being harsh so you have took it all away from there and you've just got really the boat in the foreground with some more texture so you can see on there where I've taken it from you can get in closer with your little brush if you want to be a bit more. And at the bottom here, let's reduce. I don't want that too harsh as well. That's like a soft watercolour just to frame it. So all there I don't want. So all I've left is the boat area there. So I'm loving that. That's gorgeous. Now I'm just going to try something else. In fact, just drag that into the bin there. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... No, I will do that. Yeah, so add a new layer. I'm going to um, get the dropper tool. And I'm going to just take a drop of this color here so it shows there then i'm going to go on the graduation tool which is there gradient tool and i'm just going to sweep that down sweep it down again and then go on your blend tools with that as well see if it gives you anything that you like it also makes your birds blend in a little bit more as well A 
let's just keep it on normal and just take the, the fill down. Taking the fill down to 46%. Now what I'm needing to do, I'm going to add another one. And I am going to go on my colours. And I'm going to choose a colour this time. See what this does. So back on your gradient. Maybe darker as well. And just go down your blend modes again. Multiply and reduce the fill. Let's see what that's like with and without. Just keep taking one off, seeing what looks nice or looks better. Because I want it more in the mist. But now what I need to do is bring the boat out a little bit more. So I'm going to go again on a new layer, checkerboard, bring that up towards the boat. Let's see if we can make that stand out a little bit more. It needs depth. And I think we're missing some depth at the moment. That's your depth. Overlay. I think that's your depth. So it was like too faint. That's brought depth. So what I'm going to do is a layer mask. I'm on black paintbrush. And I'm just going to bring out some grass. too harsh see what happens when I forget to change the opacity and flow it's too harsh so Control and Z just to undo that and reduce that into your 20s or 30s and we'll see what all you need is light touch light touches just to keep that coming out, standing out like the sun is it in that okay so yeah I'm liking that so what I'm going to do again is control shift alt and e and I'm going to make it pop by the levels. So Control and L will bring my level, level slider up. And I just need to make it pop a little bit. So increase those whites. Lower the mid-tones. If you want to increase the shadows, you can do that. If you want to darken them more, you do that. And that's where it'll bring the depth in for your image. And that is, that's it. So now I always flatten my image because I'm happy with that. Flatten. And then I'm adding my canvas. 
and this is where it absolutely frames it and i think this is going to have a nice big frame like a, a, a mount around it so let's go for seven seven middle there you go beautiful absolutely gorgeous so that's my finished piece and i didn't know where i was going with that at the start um i wanted a misty look but then it was misting over the boat and it looked a bit unreal when i actually then removed the texture from my boat uh, it was bringing out the details still but um it was it was still hazy and it was matching in too much with the background and you need that difference so now i've got that soft area here some detailed texture in the water just to give that bit more interest in the midsection the boat before looked a bit hazy and it blended in too much with the background so you have to bring depth and shadow into your image so um, that's when I did some gradients. Um, so to make, I did a gradient on the background over the castle just to make uh, that more in the distance with haze. And then I took a deeper colour, a darker colour, dark blue or a mid blue over the section of the boat to here and then went through the blend modes to make that stand out and then just took it away here to make the grass still visible like this rays of sun um, still shining on that and making it reflect so I'm quite happy with the tone now I wasn't before you can tell it's painterly you can tell it was a photograph but it, it's 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 just different you've got texture here on the boat the yellow stands out against the blue and it's absolutely gorgeous so you've got your little cool tones and a few little warm tones here and a bit of light casting and that's what you're looking for it's all about light and shadow okay and a nice um, focus point so that's what we've got here and I'm really happy with that now um, so yes if you want to purchase the textures that I've used today uh, to create this image um, it does make a really soft painterly feel uh, they are only 12 pound for 20 textures uh, you can email um, me uh, and I can send a link to you because I uh, through iZettle or you can purchase them uh, through my website as well. Each collection is on uh, www.artthroughalens.co.uk or you can email me uh, regarding any collection that you would like at inquiries at art through a lens as well co.uk okay so uh, hope you enjoy that have fun go through all your old photographs uh, and see what you can play around with because this one i took a couple of months ago now i think two or three months ago and um i've not done that one before i don't think i did um, a wider version of it so uh yes play about with any old photographs that you think you know weren't worthy of anything before and you weren't that interested in anything it's all about getting it out applying some textures and seeing if you can make an image and you get creative on a dull horrible day and especially in lockdowns so it keeps you entertained it keeps you busy and it's addictive as well so um hope you enjoyed this lesson and um hope you like my image as well and i'll see you soon all of you have a fantastic day don't forget to subscribe tell your friends about my channel um, get them creating as well and uh, i'll see you all next week thank you bye bye